Okay, so pardon me, people. Um, the first blog I did, I was in, I was at the train station, just getting off of work. This is the second blog. So look, I'm gonna show y'all something. I'm at the park on 161st Street, right? I'm at the park on 161st Street. So this is the pull-up bar, right? I don't know if y'all can see it. That's the pull-up bar. That's the high pull-up bar, right? I always use the high pull-up bar because the higher the pull-up bar, the better for me, right? So just keep in tune. Look, look what I'm showing y'all. Hold on. I want to see if y'all can see it. My bad, y'all. It's a little dark here because the park is actually closed. But when I get off work, I don't give a fuck if it's 2, 3 in the morning. I come here, I sneak in the park, the park is open. So this is the dip bar. Y'all can't see it because it's dark. But that's the dip bar. You know what I'm saying? And this is the whole park. I'm in the park. The park is open all the time. You just got to know what entrance to get in, right? But when I get off work, if I get off work 1 in the morning, 2 in the morning, it's priority that I come to this park or any other park. I know other parks that's open throughout the city. I don't care if it's a scaffold, but I like the park because the dip bar is here. And I make sure I get a minimum of 10 sets of pull-up, push-ups, and dips. I don't care if I'm only doing sets of seven. If I'm doing seven pull-ups, seven, seven dips, and like 15 to 20 push-ups, it's still money. And the reason why... I I'm naming a low count, a low rep count, is because when I'm getting off work, I'm tired. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm lifting big laundry bags. I'm collecting placentas, different things. You know what I'm saying? And placentas is like probably four or five pounds of placenta, like in the, in the jugs or whatever. But my point is this. Nothing stops me from working out and staying in shape outside of my job or my two jobs or whatever whatever outside of my hustle outside of my music and i'm gonna tell you i've been home i maxed out 2009 so i've been home from 2009 to now straight like really no police contact i'm out the way and i, I just stay low i stay in the cut like a slut you know what i'm saying i'm low like snow i'm out the way but um i'm gonna tell you how that works for me, for individuals who's just coming home or who have problems staying home. I'm still in jail, but in the street. What I mean by that is this. I self-govern myself. I'm still programming, right? So my two jobs is my, um, is my programs. Me coming to the park, I'm at rec, right? The workout park, whether it's the gym. I don't really fuck with the gym no more. I ain't fuck with the gym in like, 10 months, 11 months, I just fuck with the parks, I'm, I'm straight calisthenics, I didn't lift weights in a, in a minute, I'm just straight calisthenics and resistance bands, right, so, um, I'm bidding, but in the street, I'm programming, but in the street, so I always work outside of my two jobs, I'm, I, I, I exercise, I hit the park, so this is recreation, right, um, you know, y'all might see me go to Lighthouse or different spots, you know, soul food spots I eat at, that's going to chow. I'm going to chow. I only eat once a day, three to four protein shakes a day, one meal a day. Y'all already know this. I'm, pesca I'm pescatarian. Fish, fruits, veggies, nuts, and grains. Um, I don't do clubs no more. You know, I used to do after-hour spots, you know, when I was getting a certain type of money. I had a, a good three-year run. Um, I, don't, I, don't, I don't do after-hour spots no more. I don't do lounges. I don't, I don't do really clubs like that, you know what I'm saying, um, I stay out the way, man, but, you know, in jail, the main things, they send you the programs, whether it's GD, your trade school, um, you know, whether you're a gym porter, whatever, whatever, then you got recreation, when everybody's in the yard, and then you got chow, and then you got commissary, when, you know, when you shopping, and then you got the law library, and then you got the general library, General Library is like where dudes go and catch up like on Essence Magazine, Sources, Rolling Stones. You know, you can get novels. 
you know, entertainment, reading, different things, right? Um, I used to fuck with the law library a lot, even when I was up north and I didn't have no cases or nothing. But it's good to study penal codes and cases and laws because you can read cases on how dudes beat bodies and beat robberies and stuff like that. You know, I, you know, that's law library. And then general library, you know, you read. I used to keep up on um, the Billboard magazines to see who's doing their numbers with the music, indie, sound, or whatever. Same thing with the Source, the, the Vibe magazine. And I used to read a lot of Essence magazines, so I see in tune and I stay tapped in, you know, what the sisters is doing. But out here, my law library is <laughs> CSI, Chicago PD, um, you know, a lot of, you know, law and order, forensic files, you know, um, snapped. You know, I, 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 I watch, I don't really fuck with TV like that, but when I do, I'm watching something with substance that I can learn. And when they talking about different cases and murders and case files, I look it up on my phone. You know what I'm saying? Like if a dude caught a body or a rape case or whatever, you know, on these shows and stuff, or a dude caught the body and then they checked the ballistics and, you know, they found a piece of glove or some DNA fragments. I, I researched this stuff on my phone while watching it on TV, right? And so that's my law library. My general library you know, it's digital now, which is Instagram, Facebook, and that's how I keep up with music and different stuff like that, you know, that's my general library, but I'm still bidding in the street, I program, and idle time is the devil's time, I idle mind is the devil's playground, so I'm constantly feeding my mind with um, information, constructive information, whether it's dealing with health, spirituality, war, law, discipline um muscle magazines fitness flex magazines you know i follow different pages on youtube health pages you know just to keep me abreast i got a i got a close friend his name is akeem supreme he's a um he's a professional bodybuilder so i always check out his page and i follow his followers and different shit like that and i check out their nutrition their diets you know what i'm saying they um they um they meal plans and things like that. So, you know, for those are for those who just came home and they struggling with staying home, or those who've been home for a minute and struggling with staying home, this is the formula that worked for me. Hold on, let this train go by. You know, this is the formula that worked for me. And um Despite my little setbacks, like when I get in little relationships, I'll get in relationships and I start dealing with um with the bunnies. Outside of that, everything is strict and militant. Now, the thing with the bunnies is this for those who's just coming home, who's struggling with staying home. You don't really want to focus on the bunnies because, you know, um, you don't really want to focus on the bunnies because. A lot of women is, um, not all, there's women that got their own money, but women is good at saving their own money and using up the man money. And then a lot of women have liability habits. And what I mean by that is the fake nails, the fake hair and stuff like that. I'm not knocking women who do it. What I'm saying is nobody needs fake nails. That's not a, that's not, that's a, that's not a, um, a need. That's a want. Nobody needs fake hair. That's a need. That's not a, um, I mean, that's a want. That's not a need. So you got to separate the priority from the privilege, right? And for those dudes who's trying to level up, you don't want to deal with, with relationships because the woman going to want attention. She going to want love. She going to want to have sex. She going to want to, she going to want you to cater to her and date and take her out and do this. And that exhausts your finances. So when you're trying to level up and you're trying to stay home, you just want to indulge heavy in building your mind, body, soul, and pockets. You know what I'm saying? So that's gym. That's work. That's reading books. That's saving your money. You're going to minimize your budget. Food, clothing, shelter. That's priority, right? You know, your protein shakes, your meals to keep your muscles at bay and everything. Um, I mean, to keep your muscles enhanced and everything. Um... 
Staying away from police, gang activity. Staying away from anything that can get you incarcerated. You know, I got friends that smoke weed. I don't hang around them when they smoke weed, even though weed is legal now. But I don't hang around when niggas that drink and shit like that because all that shit gets you in trouble. All that shit is no good. You know, chicks that drink and wild out and smoke and get loud. I stay away from all the buffoonery. So, you know, that's one way how I stay home. You know, how I've been home all these years through a program and a system. You know what I'm saying? And um, so in regards to the um, to the fellas who just came home or been home for a minute or didn't go to jail and y'all homeless, right? I'm going to give y'all dudes who have problems with housing issues. I'm going to give y'all a quick brief setup on how I did it. Because I always tell y'all I was homeless twice. And I snapped out of it both times. Right? But the plan was this. You got to keep a storage locker. Right? That's what you want. That's your home outside of home. Your storage locker is where all your property is going to be saved at. Right? I got my own apartment and I still got a storage locker. And I got a P.O. box. Because my P.O. box... Is where my mail come if I don't want certain mail to come to my crib, right? So, but remember, in order to have all of this, you got to have some type of finances. Because you got to pay your storage bill and you got to pay your um your P.O. box bill, right? So, slow money is better than no money. I don't care if you got to take a dishwasher job. All restaurants is always hiring for dishwashers. I did dishwashing jobs. And chicks used to laugh, right? But it's going to pay my storage. It's going to pay my... um. It's going to pay my P.O. box and then it's going to pay my gym membership because the gym membership is where I'm going to take my shower and I'm going to work out, right? Because the gym membership, you're going to constantly build your body and you're going to constantly shower and maintain your hygiene. So long as you always fluffy and you clean and you smell good, you can always make a move that make a difference, right? So now storage, P.O. box and a gym, right? And a job. The job is priority. Cause that's going to pay for the rest of the stuff. And when you're doing all that, you save your money. You put everything on a secure credit card, right? You get a secure credit card for like $200. So now two or $300, right? Capital One, Bank of America, whatever. The secure credit card is going to pay your storage bill, your gym bill, and your phone bill. And while it's paying all three bills, um, your P.O. box, your storage, and your phone bill, and your gym bill. While it's paying all four bills, you building your credit at the same time, right? So now you're going to need the credit because whether you go get a room or apartment, they're going to do a credit check, right? So you might got to camp out on a roof in a park. It ain't going to matter because you're going to stay clean because you're always taking showers in the gym every day. You're working out every day. So nobody ain't going to know your situation but you. You know what I'm saying? Whether you sleeping on a building steps. I'm trying to show you how to level up. Niggas got to put their pride to the side. Because there's a lot of niggas out here that's homeless. And all niggas is living with females on a low. And when that bitch get tired of your dick. Because she going to meet a nigga with better dick or a bigger bag. She going to say pack your shit. She going to start an argument. She going to say you left dishes in the sink. Or you left the toilet seat up. Or she going to find any little thing. And you going to agitate her. And she going to say get the fuck out. Pack your shit. So I'm trying to show y'all niggas how to level up, right? So you building your credit at the same time while working your bullshit $15 an hour job, but you staying out the way. You building your body, you saving your money, and oatmeal is better than no meal. You gonna eat the shit out that oatmeal, whether it's three, four times a day. You can get you some bread and some peanut butter and honey and eat peanut butter and honey sandwiches too. Before you know it, your credit is gonna be up and then... You gonna have enough money saved? You go to a real estate company or a room finder's place, and you get you a room. You still maintain the same process until you save up more money. Then from the room, you gonna graduate to a studio or a one bedroom. So there you have it, bro. I broke it down for y'all in 15 minutes. This is a different type of blog. This is a different type of build. You know, dudes ain't really trying to tell y'all, um, you know, how to survive and shit like that. Or they ain't trying to tell y'all like shit like this because a lot of dudes got pride and shit like that. But I'm giving y'all the real. Anyway, stay up like a cop. I holler back on my collar crack. We get up like sit-ups. Iron. Uno.